Denmark's general election is underway, which could see a shift in the balance of power with the possibility of new entries to the parliament. The vote was called after one party withdrew its support for Prime Minister Meta Friedrichsen's Social Democrats. The latest polls gave her left bloc an almost 7% lead over a centre-right alliance, putting her on course to continue as Premier. But she may have to turn to the newly formed moderates of ex-Prime Minister Lars Loke Rasmussen. His party is seen as winning around 10% of the vote, and he has hinted that he could join a coalition with the Social Democrats. For voters, the main concerns seem to be tax cuts, the cost of living, healthcare and defence. I actually think it's good if we are forced to make uh, kind of uh, broad negotiations and get uh, a lot of people behind what we decide in Denmark. So I don't really like if it's only the red. I think for me it's been the economy uh, that we are not actually uh, st stimulating the inflation in Denmark. I think that's a, a very important thing for me and of course uh, the Danish welfare system and how we're going to uh, drive that in, in the long run, run has been very important for me. I think for everybody climate is important. Uh, we can't uh, ignore it anymore. But I also think that the, after corona crisis, uh, health issues are important. There will also be close attention to the performance of the far right. A new hardline party, the Danish People's Party, was created in June, which could divide the vote at that end of the political spectrum. Good day.